Here is an update on those two antennas I got yesterday or the day before. I don't remember. CQDX 309 Central Iowa standing by. Come on in here, 309 right at you. What's up guys, Corey the Random Guy here. Before we begin this video, I'd like you guys to continue liking, subscribing, sharing, commenting, thumbs up, hit the notification bell so you guys don't miss any of this. <sighs> All right, now. With that out of the way, let's get to it. Okay, so you guys remember those two antennas that I had gotten and I experimented with putting a 102 inch whip on top of that. So after the video was done, what I actually ultimately ended up doing was putting the uh, fiberglass tops back up and then tuning them down. Trimming them down to where they are as close as it's gonna get. You guys can see way up there that right there is vacuum cap to the top of it after I got done trimming it. And I did both antennas that way. Uh, I got them down to 1.5 across the board. Actually, I think one is 1.6 across the board and the other one is 1.5 across the board. So the plans for these two antennas, this one is actually hooked up to another radio, which I will show you guys here in just a minute. So the one that's not being used is actually and this is a little bit of a spoiler alert, so keep an eye out, guys. That one is going to go on an RV. Give you a little bit of a, just a, just a taste, just a taste. This is going to be probably another, another playlist on my channel here. But we are getting an RV once I get my taxes back, which should be in a couple weeks, hopefully. I hope you guys got yours back. I've been waiting since February. Uh, they've been taking a while. But that's okay. Anyway, what I plan on doing is getting an RV. Building a base station inside of it. Yes, I know what some of you are going to say. Well, you can't drive with the fiberglass tenna up going down the road. You are correct. So what I actually plan on doing is mounting it to the front maybe, more towards the middle or something. I'll have to figure it out once we pick out an RV. But what I plan on doing is making a little bracket deal to hook it onto so this way I can fold it down. So it sits along the top and the side of it and it can just lay there while we're going down the road. Now there is three reasons why we're getting an RV. One, of course, just to go camping. Two, you guys remember in one of my last videos, I mentioned the fact that we were trying to get the house ready for uh, my wife's two children to come home. I still got to do that. It's going to be easier if we get an RV, stay in it while we're redoing this hunk. But at the same time, that's kind of up in the air too, because we're kind of trying to keep our options open for other places as well. And the third reason, for third biggest reason is I actually want to make a bug out vehicle for a SHTF situation. I've been watching a lot of videos on that. I have some survival stuff. I don't have a whole lot. I'm actually still learning and still gathering and whatnot. But the big thing is communication. Once everything goes down, if it does, like cell phones, internet, yada, 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 what do you got left? You got radio. Radio is always gonna be there no matter what. Why not have communication, a CB communication setup in your RV? And at that point, I would actually probably have a ham radio, a two meter radio, all kinds of different radios in there for communication across the United States, wherever we're going, yada, yada, yada. Stay tuned for that. That's just a little spoiler. We have not got the RV yet. I'm looking into them. Uh, we have actually found quite a few for pretty cheap. They need a little bit of work, but that's okay because I'm going to bring you guys along for the adventure too, and we're just going to go from there. But as of right now, enough babbling on about it before I give too much away, but as of right now, one of those antennas that I had gotten the other day is up and running. And I will show you guys that right now. Are you guys ready to see the second radio that I have? This one right here, the Cobra 29 LTD Classic. There is nothing wrong with this radio. This came in with the bundle of stuff that I had gotten actually last week. But let me show you something really interesting. I took the other 65 foot cable. You guys can see I'm actually editing a video right now. I took that 65 inch cable, ran it in here. Let me show you something. No skip today, so I'm not able to get to the nobody. We're gonna switch this down to SWR. All right, you guys can see I'm on channel one. It's already set. Switch it down and a 1.4 roughly. Uh, well, 1.3, 1.4, somewhere around in there. We'll go to 40, the same thing. Go to forward. It's right on the set. And just barely moving. 
like maybe a 1.1 to 1. So with that being said, I think, like I said before, this back channel 28 on AM, this is an AM radio. So like I said before, I do believe it was the cable which doesn't surprise me to say the least. But I do have both of these running. I haven't had them running today just for the simple fact that there's really no skip. So there's really no point of them being on. But this one's on AM, this one's on side. The amp goes to this. This one does not have an amp. And just to show you, let's see what kind of power we're getting out of this. 10 watt scale, power. It's getting about a four watt carrier no amp so there's really no help i did test this radio on this thing and i actually figured out how to run it and i found out that this actually has a built-in dummy load so i don't have to worry about hooking it up to an antenna but from what i have seen talking into the mic this thing will push about 10 peak according to that meter i i don't know if it's quite right it could be i'm not sure but anyway this radio is as healthy as an ox. So I wanted to show you guys that. I hope you guys enjoyed. There's still some improvements. Everybody knows there's always improvements. So I would invite you guys to tag along with us while we do the uh, RV adventure. Yes, dear, I gave it away. I didn't give it all away, but I gave some of it away. That we will be doing an RV adventure as well. Don't get the house adventure with it. Oh yeah, the house adventure. I already gave them that too. I'm learning as I go. If I'm screwing something up, feel free to comment and let me know. And don't forget about the little links in my channel. I did link my Facebook, my Instagram, my TikTok, I believe. So if you guys ever want to get a hold of me via that way, go for it. Just let me know that you are from YouTube or whatever and you've got a question or a comment or something, you know. But don't forget to comment down below. I mean, seriously, don't forget. It helps the channel grow. I'll see you guys later.